Okay, it's Mike Messier. I'm getting ready for my uh, scene here in this film, uh, The Making the Trick. And I'm in my hotel room, and um, as things worked out, uh, my shoot was actually uh, postponed a full week. Now, that's uh, it's a little unusual, uh, not terribly unusual for the film world, but it just is what it is. So now I'm in without... I've grown my beard in for a week. Uh, the character is kind of a thug, a bodyguard to a gangster, and uh, you know it's a it's a good role for me. Um, you know I get that type of role a lot. I'm also very good at comedy, but in this uh, situation, I'm I'm more or less a thug. So I've I think I've done a pretty good ensemble here. Um, of course, I've got a suitcase full of gear. Uh, you know, in that suitcase is. Uh, two other jackets, I think. Um, and uh, that's part of being an actor is, uh, you, for the most part, especially if you're a bigger guy like myself, you want to supply your own uh, costume. Um, because of fitting, uh, I guess in this day and age, germs, uh, you know, whatever you want to call it, germs, hygiene, um, but really just comfort level. You never want to go to a film set without having some options uh, for the wardrobe department uh, for yourself. Just bring your own stuff. It's the best way to do it. Uh, that's why a lot of actors, myself included, have an excess of clothes. Maybe we don't wear these clothes all the time, but you have them in case you need them. And, uh, you know, if you're, not, um, if you're not an actor, you might say, well, minimalism, minimalism uh, the, the, the book. I read the book about getting rid of excess crap. When you're an actor and you're in the entertainment world, you can't always get rid of excess crap. You have to hold on to it. So in this situation, I'm, uh, this jacket I just bought, I have a feeling this jacket is going to be sacrificed <laughs> uh, for the movie. Uh, there needs to be some uh, dirt and blood and special effects. So I think this, this jacket is, as, as I like this jacket. I've only had it for like three or four days, but I think it's, it's probably not long for this world. Um, there is a stunt involved today. Um, you know, so that's exciting, and I, I believe I do have a stuntman, he's a friend of mine actually, so uh, I'm, I'm uh, also hoping that everything works out for him, because there's a bit of a danger in that stunt, like any stunt, but he's very experienced, he knows what he's doing. Uh, the director is a good friend of mine, and uh, people, uh, this, this movie has kind of rallied, you know, there were some obstacles, you know, obviously with COVID-19, and uh, the testing, there's been a lot of testing on the set, uh, but I'm ready to go. So what's the mental preparation? Uh, in this particular case, really with my lines as an actor, my biggest challenge is memorizing lines. And this one, the, the words that I have, the lines, the dialogue is very guttural, uh, meaning that it's not eloquently spoken. It's, it's very off the cuff. So I've been less... Uh, Rehearsing basically to myself. I've, I've rehearsed less than usual because uh, Although the words are important the emotion really is the most important thing. So I don't want to um, You know kind of spend myself or spend my energy Delivering these lines to an empty hotel room now this morning. I did notice I have kind of a bulbous zit on my nose on my nose which um, is interesting that it developed, <laughs> but I'm going to put it into the character. I'm going to say the character has a fucking zit. You know, the character is nervous. He's in a shitty situation. So the character's got a fucking zit on his nose. Uh, that's fine. This bandana is also here. Uh, luckily, that's also for me in the stuntman's use so that uh, the stunt will come off better than usual. Um, also, that's preventing me from having to shave my head. I am looking forward to shaving after this shoot, so I will be freshly shaved maybe the, by the next video or the video after that. Uh, Mike Messia YouTube channel's got a lot of fun, but I've, I've been taking you on this adventure. You know, this is something I don't normally do. Normally, I do rants, I do pro wrestling rants, I do life rants, but do I take you, the, the Mike Messia loyal viewer, into my world? Normally, I don't. I leave you behind, but this time I figured you're coming on the road. <sighs> So like, share, subscribe, all the crap that you can do, do it. And Mike Messier, the making the trick, I'm looking forward, and hopefully this the shoot will go well. Hopefully I'm not jinxing it with this video.